Right now on your 13 Action News update, as we continue to learn more about the mass shooting in Texas, here at home, the CCSD Police Department says officers will be out in full force today. That's with Metro, North Las Vegas Police, also Henderson Police as well. Now, the district sent a statement to our newsroom saying safety is a top priority for all school districts. Also adding that leaders must do everything possible to protect students. This, of course, again, following the mass school shooting in Texas, where 19 children and two adults were killed. Some of you may have seen black smoke in the south end of the valley today. Firefighters right now burning two homes on the ground or to the ground, I should say, on purpose. It's all part of a training exercise for the fire academy. Two homes are side by side. This is just west of the I-15 near Dean Martin and Silverado Ranch. 19 rookie firefighters are participating in this fire academy, and you'll likely see plumes of smoke throughout the day. Also, the CDC updated its guidance for Americans ready to head overseas this summer. Agency has moved five international destinations to its high risk category for travelers. That means if you don't have up to date COVID-19 vaccines, the CDC suggests for you to avoid those areas. For a full list, you can go under CDC's COVID-19 travel recommendations on their website. Justin. You know, thanks. The heat is on for the next four afternoons. We're going to be well above average, looking for 99 today in Las Vegas. Uh, we could hit 100 on the east side of the valley. Also expecting 100 in Mesquite, 106 in Laughlin, and 99 in Pahrump. Hot afternoon means a warm evening, low 90s as the sun sets around 8 p.m. down to only 76 for the low. So your air conditioner are going to have to work hard tonight to keep the home cool. 102 on Thursday, 100 on Friday. Clean to some southwest wind with us through the holiday weekend, but we'll drop from the mid 90s Saturday to the low 90s Sunday to the mid 80s by Memorial Day. All right, Justin, thank you. And that was your 13 Action News update. You can find more on our website, ktv.com, and our free mobile app.